Hi, I'm Jenny and I am joined today by our Parks Director, Aaron Watley. Aaron, hey. thanks so much for joining me today. Yeah, happy to be here. Thank you. We are out at the beautiful Miracle Field right now, which is an amazing field. Yep. Um, I know you guys get a lot of compliments on this. You guys just recently opened the concession stand, right? Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. What went into building that? Well, this whole <laughs> complex has been a labor of love uh, mm -hmm. over the past, what, three years now. Okay. Really started kind of grassroots effort with uh, some, a local uh, organization and all the funding for it, before I dive into it, but all the funding for this has been generated through uh, very generous donations through community members, businesses, um, and then we had a great partnership with Easter Seals who uh, really kind of runs it and uh, makes it what it is, a miracle uh, organization. So um, the field itself is wonderful. We have games here every Saturday, um, three, three games, games. Yep. yep, and it gives everybody an opportunity to enjoy the love of baseball, no matter ability, what your ability is. Now, if you guys haven't been to one of the games, it's definitely something to check out. Yep. Um, the field is specially designed. It's what, pour and place surfacing? Yep, pour and place. Yeah. So wheelchairs, uh, walkers, assistive devices, anyone can play on here. Yep. It's safe, free of barriers. Yep. The smiles on the kids' faces. Wonderful. I mean, just melt yep. your heart mm -hmm. watching the game. Yep. Yes, yep. goosebumps. Yep. It's an incredible feeling. Yep. So right. we've we've made a really big push over the last, uh, I'd say, probably five years to really have inclusivity in the parks, and this is really the the gem of Orient Township here. So fully accessible uh, for everybody. So we. Have, as Jenny was saying, the field, but not, not only a field, the concession stand itself. So we have uh, fully accessible bathrooms with uh, changing tables. Um, everything's accessible there. We have a concession stand that not only services this field, but it services the entire park system. And it's ran by Easter Seals. They also employ individuals with all abilities to help run it. All the proceeds from it go to uh, maintaining this complex. So it's really a win-win-win where we have, you know, uh, providing recreational amenities for everyone here, providing food and beverage service to everyone in the park, and the proceeds go to maintaining this beautiful asset. So for Orient Township and Northern Oakland County, this is, I mean, wonderful. We're very, very excited. We I'm are. getting kind of goosebumps even talking about it. It's such, That's such a fun project. Now, so. this is only the second field like this in Michigan. Correct. And yep. you guys have had people coming from even out of state yes. to play games at this field, yes. right? Yep. So the other one is in Southfield. Mm -hmm. That's uh, really where it started with Easter Seals. Uh, Steve mm -hmm. Peck was the, the founder of uh, Miracle Field, uh, Michigan. Mm -hmm. And uh, they really kind of molded together the vision of what we were looking and brought it to the northern Oakland County area. So we have some um, much needed recreational opportunities for everyone, so. Uh, that's, that's right. Now, um, not speaking just of the field here and the concession yep. stand, Friendship Park has so much more to offer that I don't know that a lot of people even know about. So let's go take a look at some of the other stuff in the park. Sounds great. So now we're at the Friendship Park uh, meeting room and outdoor pavilion. Yep. So this has a little hidden benefit that I don't think a lot of people know about. You want to tell us about it? Yep. Uh, so part of our uh, Parks Millage uh, campaign, mm -hmm. we were making general improvements to the, all of our facilities, uh, green infrastructure, just general things that uh, normal you know citizens wouldn't be able to see. Um, so here we have a, a, a full panel or a solar panel array, which helps generate power uh, to supplement energy here and throughout our baseball fields and our maintenance facility, um, which is great. I mean, we have full sun out here pretty much all the time. Yeah. And uh, so it's a great benefit. Also, re roof the roof here. Um, and then out at Camp Aguam, we re roofed the lodges out there and did redid siding. So just a, a lot of improvements throughout all of our parks mm -hmm. that 
you know, you're not, you're going to see a giant uh, miracle field in the ground, but you might not necessarily notice the small things, but the things that are very important for structural integrity Much and needed. longevity. So, yeah, yeah, definitely. I I love the solar power. So yeah. hopefully we'll see more of that in the future um, and more buildings throughout the, the township here. Yeah. We have some more projects on the books for this year. And so we'll check out some more on this segment, but then also keep posted on our, um, our website and Facebook page for upcoming projects throughout this year and moving forward in the future. So now we are outside of the Dragon's Den playground as well as the Let Them Play playground. So speaking of inclusivity, tell us a little bit about the playgrounds here. Yep, so we have a, a wide range of playgrounds from uh, extra large, super tall, yeah. super fun, yep. um, to uh, you know a playground that's designed for all abilities. Mm -hmm. We actually have um, two phases, and this was kind of very instrumental, the DAISY project of Michigan really supported this, raised funds for it through their Elopalooza in September. Um, but we have a, a kind of a, a teeter-totter and then a fully accessible, two fully accessible wheelchair swings. And those were, at the time, uh, a couple of the, the first in the, the Midwest of public parks. And then we have an inclusive whirl, which is, Amazing. yeah, you can literally wheel on with a wheelchair and enjoy um, a merry-go-round uh, like everyone else. So um, we, we do fully anticipate expanding, growing, making this just a hub for everyone. Um, so with that being said too, when you, when you come to the playground, we'll be making some additions where we'll have um, some adult exercise equipment. So while you're watching your kids, you can hop on a stair stepper, get a little workout. <laughs> That'll and, be fun. Yep, and then um, we also have throughout the park system, um, Orient Center, Civic Center, uh, new municipal complex, and then here we're gonna we uh, installing EV chargers. So um, bring your electric vehicle, charge it up, and uh, it should be a, a great place to enjoy some recreational opportunities. Yeah, you can't be home of the GM plant building all these electric vehicles yep. without EV chargers everywhere. So Absolutely, that's a great addition to our facilities and parks. For sure. Now, we got some good grants for that too so yeah we yeah. definitely did yep. so we're good on grants yes all right so you've talked about what's here now and a little bit about what's coming with the ev chargers you guys have something else kind of big planned over here that people have been requesting for a while let's go take a look at it sounds great All right, so we were just talking about future improvements at some of the parks. So we are at the site of what? Tell us what this is. Yep, so this is the north end of Friendship Park. Mm -hmm. And this is the base for two pickleball courts and one tennis court. So uh, I would have expected this to already be complete, but with um, some material delays, we're waiting on our fencing. Mm -hmm. And uh, so relatively soon, I would say probably by this fall, We'll have um, a beautiful court. It'll be striped mm -hmm. out for uh, two pickleball right back here, going mm -hmm. um, east and west, and then a tennis full-size tennis court going north and south. So uh, follow us. Check out our website mm -hmm. once it's um, once it's up and live. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll, we're going to work on how we're uh, booking it and reserving it for the the community. So now I know a lot of people have been asking about that. So that's Ooh. really exciting. Um, we're even getting phone calls that when are we installing the next set? Uh, it's wild. I mean, people love pickleball. People they love they it. can't get enough of it. So we also have two uh, two pickleball courts out at Jesse Decker Park. Okay. They are a multi-use court. I know okay. it's not ideal, but uh, so it's tennis overlaid with pickleball. Um, okay. So we do have some options, but we're we hear you. We're here in the community, and uh, we're we're putting your dollars to work. So that's awesome. I'm super excited. Now maybe this will make me learn um, pickleball. 
I know I haven't played it yet either, and I'm really excited. Maybe we'll excited. have to play. We'll I have like to learn it. together, and okay. we'll come out here and play. Not on tape, though, because it'll be rough. Definitely not on tape. So, yeah. Nobody wants to see yeah. that. Um, all right, well, this is awesome. I'm super excited about this. But what I'm also excited about is one of our hidden gems. Let's go take a look at one of those now. All right, and last but certainly not least, one of my mm -hmm. favorite hidden gems at this park that I don't think a lot of people know about. Yeah. Can you tell us where we're at? Yep, we're at one of the trailheads of uh, the very extensive trail system in the back, back 40 of Friendship Park. So um, we have boardwalks, beautiful mature grown oak trees. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just a wonderful place to, to ride a bike, go for a walk, just enjoy nature nice and quiet so also with that um, we have a contract coming this fall uh, probably in october where we'll be developing a multi-use trail system okay. so what that means is um, for you and i go walking your family but also for mountain bikers so there'll be some really cool obstacles uh, challenge areas where uh, some you know downhill mountain bikers can enjoy and there'll be bypass sections for okay. walkers. Um, That's awesome. Yeah, it, it made sense to make this a kind of a location considering we're right on the Iron Bell Trail. Mm -hmm. um, mountain biking is a very popular sport. You know, I it mean, is. you look on the, the Safety Path Network and everybody's riding a bike. So why not bring them into the park, get a different, um, a different kind of variety of uh, biking, so. Yeah, that's awesome. I absolutely love that. And my son and I, we come out here exploring the trails here all the time. We have so much fun. Um, it actually takes you out to the pond over there, which yep. is a catch and release pond. Correct. Takes you by a historic um, Port Barn, right? Howard mm -hmm. School. Yep, Howard School, Port Barn. Actually, those are being facelift right okay. now as we talk. So, awesome. um, yeah, kind of gives you a variety of everything, get you back there. So enjoy it. Well, that's awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking us on this little tour of Friendship Park. So. All of you guys need yeah. to come out here and check out this amazing amenity we have right here in Orion. There is something for everybody at Friendship Park.